Hello and welcome to Whiskey Resource. My name's Mark and this is You Want to Get into Scotch Whiskey Beginner's Guide Part 2. So today I'm going to be briefly talking about how you actually get into drinking Scotch Whiskey. Now, quite often I see on the forums people talking about or asking questions as to what whiskey would you advise that I drink? I'm new, new to, to whiskey. I want to start drinking scotch. Can you recommend a whiskey? Invariably, people will recommend whiskies that they themselves like. Now, whilst there's nothing wrong with that, when you actually look at some of the examples of whiskies they mention, they tend to be um, whiskies that are quite impactful with their flavour, maybe because they're from Isla and they've got a lot of peat and smoke elements to it. Maybe it's because they're cask strength. Maybe it's because they're um, a sherry bomb and they have very overwhelming flavours. That's not to say that somebody new to Scotch whisky won't enjoy those straight away. It's just potentially going to be off-putting and actually push people away from drinking Scotch. You want to really be introduced to whiskies that are maybe um, less impactful with their flavour. That's going to introduce you to all that Scotch whisky has got to offer um, through um, taste and smell, but not with those bold, uh, quite aggressive flavours. So how do we begin? Well, you can stand in front of the supermarket and you can take a look at the offerings on the shelves there. And you'll see a range of cask strength offerings, maybe. Um, you'll be seeing some single malts there, maybe you'll see some blended whiskies, But what to go with, what to start with. Now I'd recommend, because this is just my guidance, my input, it's not to say it's the right or wrong approach, but my guidance would be to start quite simple. And I would ignore, to start with, the um, blended whiskies, because they can have elements that can be quite um, off-putting to a beginner, and can be quite aggressive and sharp and um you can you can go wrong let's say because there's quite a few there that uh, you may want to come back to later in your journey i'd be looking at a non-age statement or a low age statement we're talking about eight to twelve year old single malt whiskey there's a lot to choose from the approach i would probably take would be to look at the different whiskey regions so we're talking about looking at um, the Highland whiskey region, which would also include maybe Island as a separate category, Speyside certainly, Lowland whiskey. And then you've got regions such as Isla or Campbelltown, and they can present their own little problem, but we'll come to that in a moment. There's no reason why you have to totally uh, omit them from your, your choices. Now, you can purchase a full bottle and you'd be looking at anywhere between 20 and maybe 40 pounds for a bottle. But what if you taste it and you don't like it? Have you wasted that money? Or is that going to sit in the back of your cupboard until such time as you're ready to try it again? So you've got that to consider. I'd probably look at building up a tasting pack. You can go to sites such as Master of Malt or the Whiskey Exchange as examples and you can purchase samples 30 mil millimeter samples of various whiskies which correspond with maybe the beginner level of tasting and smelling so you're looking at 30 mil samples build up a pack of say five samples you get to try each one and if one of them isn't your taste well you've only got a small sample that you've you've kind of not enjoyed as opposed to possibly a full bottle that you've not enjoyed where to begin what whiskies to look at? Well, if we concentrate on, let's say, um, the Highland and the Speyside regions, there's quite a few to choose from. You could go for something like a Glenlivet Founders Reserve, a Glenlivet 12 year old. You could go for a Tom and Tool 10 year old, which is a Highland whiskey, or Glenmorangie 10 year old, or even a Glencadam 10. I wouldn't go be going above 46.3% ABV on your kind of beginner journey. And the reason I've been so specific is 46.3 is because that's the ABV that the Distel Group whiskey sit at. So we're talking about Tobimori 12, 
Deanston Virgin Oak or Deanston 12. Buna Harbin 12 would be a fantastic Isla to go with as a starting whiskey. If you want a bit more guidance as to the type of whiskey that's available for these categories, there's lots of resources on the internet, but on the Whiskey Resource website, we've got this filter and search feature, which is going to help you identify and maybe choose some whiskies to go with. So to access that on this homepage, now we're using a mobile device here, but you'd be going and looking at clicking on those three lines that you see in the top right corner of the screen. On the desktop, the same icon is available, so you can utilize it on the desktop as well. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And there we've got some various menu options. And the one we're looking at there is the word search database. If you were to click the plus, it would expand it and it'll give you more options. But we don't really want to do that at the moment. We're just going to be clicking on search database. So we'll click search database and that'll load the filter page for searching. So we'll just scroll down the little animation there and we'll see if we can get rid of that little thing on the right. Okay, so here we go. We've got the search parameters that we can use. Now, as you make some adjustments, you're going to have a number appear next to the search button, which shows you how many are in the results that you're currently looking at. So let's go ahead and we'll say that we're looking at country and we're going to look for Scotland. So you can see it's automatically done a little search there and it's come up with 189 entries for Scotland. Let's go for whiskey experience level. And we're going to say that the experience level were a beginner. Now I've got 92 in the results. I wouldn't worry about chill filtration or colour at this point in time. I certainly wouldn't be looking at cask strength or single cask offerings. So let's go for regions. Let's say that we want to go with a space side. So we'll change the category to space side. We've got 45 results now. So at this point, we can start considering things like the strength. So let's suppose we want to go with a 40% to a 43% ABV whiskey. We've now got 42. Change the average price. Let's say we want to go from anything between, let's say, £15 and no more than £40. We've got 24 in the results now. So let's go ahead and hit search. And that's going to list those whiskies. From here, you can continue to filter the results or you can click on the whiskey and you can actually go ahead and you can um, view the different whiskies in the list there. You can save the search by hitting the save search button there. You will need to create an account, log in to access this. Now at this moment in time, I've restricted the login the, the the registration feature but if sufficient people want to be able to start saving their searches by all means get in touch and i can look to have a cloud creator for you let's just make some adjustments here just to tidy this up a bit so for category let's go for a single malt and we'll do another search so we're looking at 22 single malts in this list Let's reduce the price. Let's see, now we're looking at up to £30. And search. We're down to two. So you can look at a Glen Farkless eight-year-old or a Glen Marais sherry cask. Finished whiskey. The Glen Farkless, unfortunately, is not readily available in the UK. Um, so we'll be looking more at a Glen Marais, which I've just reviewed. Let's just make a further adjustment and we'll increase the price range there to 35 and we'll go to the region and we'll go back to select region option there and we'll do another search. So now we've got 21 to work with, which would include Highland whiskies, Lowland whiskies. So you can see how this particular site is going to help you identify whiskies that maybe you could build a tasting pack with. I hope this brief guide has been a help. And please comment if you want to see more of these whiskey guide videos. Thanks for watching.